Welcome to this um, radio channel. And of course, it's Thursday, January the 24th. And on Thursday, we take a look at what's going to happen with solar activity and radio propagation in the next few days. First of all, we have the solar wind that we announced on Monday. I said that by the mid, mid to end of week, we might have some uh, unsettled conditions or ge minor geomagnetic storming due to solar wind coming from a coronal hole. Well, that solar wind has arrived, and if we look at the K index, it reached 4 at the maximum, so hasn't quite reached geomagnetic um, storming level, but 4 is, you know, enough to stir a little bit of propagation problems and uh, the unsettled conditions. It's dropped since then. We might have a few peaks that go a little more, but um, things seem to be rather quiet and might stay quiet for the next few days, so it's not too bad. One thing that's interesting, a nice sunspot, look at this nice big sunspot right here, that has showed up on the solar disk, and it's quadrupled in size in the past couple of days, but it's rather quiet, so no risks or no fears of any solar flares right now. But it is actually good for one major thing. It's actually creating that solar flux is moving a little higher. This might help propagation. So let's hope that we'll have a combination of quiet conditions in the next three to four days and a solar flux that will be higher. Because together, well, that will spark good propagation probably. Also, the fact that this uh, spot is uh, on the surface will, uh, you know, push that... Um, lower part of or what is the um, highest frequency we can use the maximum usable frequency higher so that means you know what go in the higher frequency ranges in the daytime you might find that uh, propagation is a little better 15 meters has been open this morning I was listening to some AM radio operators on 21 megahertz so it shows you that the uh, you know maximum usable frequency is higher than usual so check it out and uh, tune around the bands if conditions, of course, stay quiet. Of course, one great way to notice is to go to this website, solarham.net, or you can also go to a website called spaceweather.com and check out the little charts. So what you want is, of course, the K index to stay in the green zone, and the lower the better. And of course, you'll be able to also check out if the sunspot is still there um, and um, what are the indices like the solar flux, the higher the better. And we'll see, of course, the conditions for this week. Of course, tomorrow and Saturday, two shows. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in propagation with um, this weekend. And uh, let's hope that uh, the geomagnetic storming is behind us and that conditions might be a little better uh, and quieter than they were in the past 24 to 48 hours. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and turn on the radios, turn and tune around the bands.